boobs. They're complicated and they're also cannibals. Well, sort of. Hey, Mammary Gland Mavens, Julian here for DNews. So we all know that after women give birth, their breasts swell to become milk machines for their newborns. But biologists have long tried to explain how when a woman stops producing milk for breastfeeding, the breasts shrink back to normal size in a matter of days. New research gives us some answers. They effectively eat themselves to regenerate. According to a September 2016 study in the journal Developmental Cell, when a woman is done lactating, certain cells in her breast consume other dead neighboring cells, which are left over from the breastfeeding process. In other words, the breast cells turn on each other and become cannibals. Whoa. Before we go into details, we have to know more about how breasts work, you know, for research. Breasts are made up of a network of ducts surrounded by a layer of fatty tissue. When a woman is pregnant, hormones increase the number of epithelial cells that line these ducts. Epithelial cells line our skin, digestive tract, and other internal organs, acting as a barrier between our bodies and contaminants in the environment. And depending on where they are in the body, they can perform different functions, like allowing us to taste, touch, and smell, or secreting mucus to process nutrients. When these cells increase in the breast ducts, they form alveoli, tiny sacs that hold the milk. But when a woman stops breastfeeding, the sacs self-destruct and become debris that needs to be removed. And they do so with the help of a Pac-Man-like protein called RAC1. Normally, the body's immune cells get rid of foreign matter in a different way, a process called phagocytosis. These complex series of steps allow the immune cells called phagocytes to identify dead and dying cells and destroy them, which causes inflammation, pain, and tissue damage. But women who finish breastfeeding don't typically experience the pain associated with this process. So scientists surmise that something else must be responsible for the cleanup of dead cells. They singled out the protein RAC1, which plays a key role in both milk production and phagocytosis. To investigate, they bred a litter of mice that couldn't produce the protein. Then those mice reproduced. Turns out most of their pups didn't survive because their mice mother stopped being able to produce milk for them. The lack of RAC1 caused a buildup of dead cells, which blocked normal milk production. Excess milk then accumulated in the breast tissue, which became inflamed and swollen. This showed that RAC1 is crucial for getting rid of dead cells and preventing harmful inflammatory responses. It also seemingly kept dead cells attached to the alveoli for longer, encouraging the epithelial cells to eat each other. It's possible that this cell-eating cell process happens in other organs, since epithelial cells form the building blocks of our bodies. Scientists in the same study noted that it is thought humans shed the equivalent of their own body weight in dead cells every year. If phagocytosis were solely responsible, we'd be constantly inflamed. So maybe the cannibalization is happening all over your body. The findings could also provide more insight into the development and progression of breast cancer, since lingering dead cells and resulting inflammation could allow cancer cells to grow. After all, women have an increased risk of breast cancer in the first five to 10 years following pregnancy, and a whopping 80 to 90% of all cancers come from epithelial cells. While further research is needed, RAC1 may have a crucial role in the development of anti-cancer therapies. So there you have it. A woman's body heals itself by eating itself in a bizarre form of regeneration. Consider yourself now a little less confused about women. And if you want to know more about breast milk and maybe if it could be used as a sports drink substitute, I have a video on that right over here. So, do you have any other questions about some weird stuff the human body does you want us to look into? Go ahead, let us know in the comments, subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time on DNews.